Hello everyone, Blink here. Welcome to my part 3 of my series on how to improve your reaction time. In part 1 we've covered dietary guidelines to improve your reaction time. In part 2 I talked about supplements and nootropics that can help you improve reaction time. And in this part I'm going to cover various daily habits that can have a huge effect on your reaction time. The first daily habit that can play a huge effect on your reaction time is your sleep. Many gamers tend to mess their sleep schedules consistently due to blue light from the screen of the computer, which can delay your normal bedtime and alter your normal circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your natural biological clock which regulates your sleep-waking cycle and has massive effect on other various biological processes. Studies show that when your normal circadian rhythm is altered, you experience a significant delay on your reaction time. In this study, they compared the reaction time of normal day workers versus the reaction time of the shift worker. Shift workers are workers who work during the night and sleep during the day. The shift workers' reaction time was almost 100 milliseconds slower than those who had normal circadian rhythms. But this doesn't just limit to altered circadian rhythms. Sleep deprivation has also been shown to worsen reaction time. Even one night of sleep deprivation and your reaction time is delayed significantly. So getting enough sleep and having a natural waking sleep cycle is crucial if we wish to improve our reaction time. This can be fixed by following a normal sleep waking cycle, but for most people who have trouble falling asleep due to computer or phone light, I would recommend to install a blue light regulation program like f.lux in their computers and also another in their phones. This can help tremendously to avoid getting your circadian rhythm altered by your computer or phone light. A solution for people who are required to work during the night is bright light therapy, which has been shown to help people reset their normal circadian rhythms. Bright light therapy is used to expose your eyes to intense but safe amounts of light for a specific and regular length of time. But this should be done with the supervision of a professional doctor and following their treatment. The second daily habit that I wanted to talk about is water consumption. Sometimes ignored or underestimated, water plays a huge role in maintaining the correct functioning of your neurons. And studies show that being dehydrated impairs your reaction time and other cognitive functions. Even just mild dehydration can cause your reaction time to slow down and cause you to make more mistakes. Just like exercise requires you to constantly hydrate yourself to maintain optimal performance, gaming or other cognitive demanding tasks require it too. This study showed that children who consumed more water during the day had greater ability to maintain task performance and better reaction time. So be mindful of your water intake during your day and especially in longer gaming sessions. The third habit that I wanted to talk about is meditation. I will cover it briefly as I already made a whole video behind the science of meditation, its benefits and how to start doing it. Meditation has shown to improve reaction time by improving your attention and enhancing your focus. In the following study, they found that non-meditators following an 8-week mindfulness program had a significant improvement in reaction time. And the more you meditate, the more your reaction time improves. In the following study, they found that subjects who regularly meditated saw an improvement in reaction time of 22%, while subjects untrained in meditation, the percentage of improvement was only 7%. Meditation has also been shown to decrease the need for sleep, so to say. In the following study, they found that meditation improved reaction time in active meditators, but also found that those in the meditation group slept on average less hours than the control group, who did not meditate. And this appeared to show no detriments in their reaction time despite sleeping less hours. A possible reason for this could be that hours spent meditating could also equivalent to hours spent sleeping, as meditation has also been shown to have restorative effects on your brain and your nervous system. The last habit that I wanted to talk about is exercise. 
Habitual exercise is amazing for the brain, and the scientific literature supports this. Both resistant exercise, lifting weights, and aerobic exercise, running, have been shown to improve reaction time. Massively disregarded by a lot of gamers, habitual exercise is a pretty big focus for a lot of esports coaches, and now you know why. It doesn't just help with reaction time and cognitive function, it also improves mood, and it's a really good way of de-stressing yourself after a bad game or a long gaming session. And with this, I will conclude this part of the reaction time series. I really encourage you to watch part 1 and part 2 if you haven't already, as they lay a strong foundation for improving reaction time. Thanks massively to my recent and first Patreons, Gooby and Dark Harrell, for supporting my work. I will leave my Patreon page in the description if you wish to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, drop me a like if you found this information helpful, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.